Okay, so welcome to this next video on uh, P53 uh, and um, the um, response to DNA damage. So, so far what we have seen is we've seen um, the how the cyclin DCDK4 complex being inhibited by P21 halts uh, the progression from G1 to S phase. We've also seen how the inhibition of cyclin E CDK2 complexes halts the inhibition, uh, well, inhibits the um, movement from G1 to S phase. And we've seen how the inhibition of cyclin A CDK2 complexes um, halts the progression um, of the synthesis phase of DNA replication of the cell cycle, rather. Okay, so returning to this graph, if we just complete it for some of these, what happens is this um, SCDK level remains high until the end of G2 phase. So this is the level of cyclin A CDK2 um, complexes, which is that enzyme involved in, um, in um, triggering the replication of the DNA. So this is SCDK. Here, okay, and if we complete the graph for uh, the uh, G1 CDK or the cyclin D CDK4 complex, well, it remains high throughout nearly all of the cell cycle afterwards and only comes down towards the end, basically. So, this is the level of our cyclin D CDK4 complex or our G1 CDK, which was extremely important for phosphorylating retinoblastoma protein and moving us from uh, G1 to S. Now, there is a final important uh, cyclin, cyclin-dependent kinase complex, which goes up in the M phase of uh, the cell cycle, like so, okay? And this is known as MCDK for uh, M phase, and it's also called cyclin B CDK1 complex, which tells you exactly what it's made up of, cyclin B and the CDK1 enzyme. Okay, so we'll denote that in green. So let's have a look at the function of this um, of this um, enzyme, basically. Okay, right. So uh, let's draw it down here. So this is cyclin um, B with the cyclin-dependent kinase 1. So here is the cyclin-dependent kinase 1 here. And this here is cyclin B bound to that cyclin-dependent kinase 1. All right, so let's colour it in. Now, what does, um, what does cyclin B CDK1 complexes do? Well, basically, they are really important in the mitosis phase of the cell cycle, this M phase, okay? And in the M phase, what you do is you firstly split the nucleus into two, um, into two genetically identical nuclei, and then you split the cell. Now, this um, cyclin B CDK1 complex is really important in the early phases of mitosis. So, for instance, it triggers prophase of mitosis. It triggers um, the chromosomes uh, to basically condense down. Uh, it then triggers the formation of the mitotic spindles. Uh, it then triggers uh, most of prometaphase as well. It triggers um, the um, breakdown of the nuclear membrane, it triggers the um, chromosomal, um, chromosomal capture where the uh, mitotic spindles actually join on to the chromosomes uh, and uh, it therefore triggers mitosis. So this, this is really important for the beginning mitosis. It goes down in the late stages of mitosis as the anaphase promoting complex slash cyclosome inhibits it. But this is very, very important in mitosis. Okay, so finally, if P21 binds to CDK1 and um, stops the cyclin B from being able to bind to it, uh, then uh, CDK1 is not going to be able to bind to cyclin B. So cyclin B CDK1 complexes are going to go down. And when that happens, you're not going to be able to... Uh, carry out the early phases of mitosis, you're not going to be able to divide your nucleus into two and therefore it's going to halt uh, that you, your progression through the cell cycle if you're at that stage of the cell cycle.